talked about a sustainable water system, which is circular by nature. <clears throat> but uh, when you look into water in this region, and, and I've also mentioned we're not going to take the water from the aquifers, so no uh, 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 pumped up water, then there's basically one solution, which is desalination. Now desalination has two impact components that we need to manage. The first one, it costs a lot of energy. And if you produce that energy, that electricity, from traditional resources, it's not good for your carbon footprint. So that's where already we have gained half uh, the result, because we are going to put renewable energy into our desalination process so that it does not increase the carbon footprint uh, that, we, uh, that we have. So renewable energy is one part of the solution, but the other part is what do you do with the leftover from the desalination process. Uh, we also need to look at uh, the total energy system, uh, sorry, the total water system. A traditional water system anyway in the world, and Saudi is not an exemption, has huge losses. Leakage globally on average are 25%, which means if we can reduce the amount of leakage in your water system, I don't have to desalinate as much. So I can save on the desalination, make the capacity smaller, make the water inlet smaller. And we do that through continuous monitoring, through measurement, uh, through data uh, analysis, uh, to reduce the uh, amount of losses in the water system. Inova is part of NEOM, and NEOM is part of the kingdom. So everything that we do contributes to achieving the targets of uh, the kingdom's vision. Well, let's take, for example, the amount of renewables. The kingdom wants to have by 2030 50% of its energy made from renewable resources. In NEOM, in NOAA, by 2030 will have 100% of its energy mix coming from renewable resources. So that what we do helps to achieve the 50% on kingdom level.